Exxon's country manager Rod Hudson on Sunday confirmed the payment, noting that while signing bonuses are not mandatory, they are customary as part of the overall financial agreement between the partners. Henson said that the money was paid in 2016 but could not say which month. Initially, the bonus figure that had been floated around was U.S. $20 million. When this uh, agreement was finalized, that when negotiations were done and executed, we did pay an $18 million U.S. US dollar uh, signing bonus to the Bank of Guyana to an account that is owned by the government of Guyana and designated by the Ministry of Finance, not to any individual, but to a, to a government bank account designated by the Ministry of Finance. Um, let me say also, ExxonMobil, as a commercial entity, we have no role whatsoever in uh, the use or where those funds go. We have no role whatsoever. Chartered accountant Christopher Ram was the first person to raise the issue of the sign-in bonus a few months ago, but the government has vehemently denied receiving such. However, a letter by Finance Secretary Dr. Hector Butts to Bank of Guyana Governor Dr. Gobind Ganga in September 2016, instructing him to set up a special account to receive the money, was leaked to and published by the media. The publishing of the letter forced the government to admit to receiving the money. Since then, the opposition leader have called for the entire government to resign, followed by the damning allegations. Several transparency groups and activists have also fled the government for the deception of the Guyanese people. The ExxonMobil country manager said that, with his country already being a member of the Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative, EITI, he would expect full disclosure of such transactions when Guyana becomes a full member of that transparency and accountability watchdog. In terms of transparency, though, disclosure of these terms is something that should be consistent across the industry instead of one, one company. Transparency initiatives in order to be successful you know, should, should protect proprietary and commercial information, uh, should make, ensure that they don't violate any country's laws, and should apply to all companies in the extractive industry. This past weekend, Christopher Ram slammed the government over its secrecy about the signing bonus, noting that the president should apologize for that silence. He is adamant that the money should have gone to the consolidated fund instead of a government of Guyana bank account and has even threatened that private legal action could be filed against the government officials for that account. For the Evening News, Lake Rambagirat.